Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use QGIS to reproject raster data. Uh, some people call it QGIS, I call it QGIS. This is version 3.16. QGIS is one of the most awesome desktop software programs out there for geo geeks like me. It's also open source, which is totally cool. So, uh, we're going to use it to reproject some images. So I'm going to start a new empty project here. Just double click on that. And the imagery that I have is in UTM zone 10 north metric and I want to get it in California State Plain zone 3 feet. So the first thing we want to do is go to project properties and we're going to set our coordinate system. You can choose it from the list down here. You can filter that list but I've got it here in my shortcuts. So UTM zone 10, I'm going to hit apply. Okay, then I'm going to go to layer, add layer, raster layer, and I'm going to click this little button here. I'm going to go get my two tiles. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these. That was junk from my first try. All right, so here's our tiles in UTM zone 10. If you want to check your coordinates, you can look down here Okay, on that little taskbar. So I want to write these out now as California State Plains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click one of these images and I'm going to say export, save as. Okay, GeoTIFF is fine for the format. File name, I'm going to call this uh, Tile 1, CSPC Zone 3. Okay, I'm going to say save. And right here, this is really important. You want to pick your destination coordinate reference system, which for me is this California zone three feet. Okay, and then we are going to tell it to add, I'm going to actually uncheck that, I don't need to add it to the map. Okay, now I'm going to pause the video because it he just has a has a hard time, um, seems like it's having a hard time writing this out while the screen, screen recorder is going, and then uh, I'll unpause it after the file write's done. Alright guys, so after it's done right now, it'll give you this little pop up here and here and the, the little progress bar is going to show up right here. I'm going to try the second one now. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to say export, save as. We're going to call this tile 2. And we're going to choose our coordinate system. And then we're going to hit OK. Alright guys, I had just wanted to show you something. I had some trouble with that uh, export, so instead of raw data, I just tried rendered image, and uh, it seems like that fixed the problem. So I just I wanted to show you guys that real quick. So uh, if you have problems with raw data, try rendered image. All right, guys. So let's see if we got this to work. I'm going to open GeoViewer. It's another. It's not open source, but it's a free program that works good for large image files. And uh, we're going to go ahead and add those two tiles we exported and see if they look right and if they're in the right spot. Yep, so here they are. It looks like they're in the right spot. So you can see it's pretty good imagery. It's one foot resolution. And our coordinates, lat long, state plane, so we're good to go. So the last thing I just want to show you guys, once we've done that, I want to get my images into BricsCAD. So I have a drawing set up here. We're going to go ahead and attach those two files just with the attach raster image command. It takes it a minute. Here you go. You know, it kind of stinks that we got this seam here. Um, sometimes you can adjust the, you can clip this and maybe get rid of a little bit of that seam, but I think for, for what I'm doing, I don't know that it's going to matter. But um, there you go, guys. That's how you get your images into, uh, get them reprojected and get them into the right coordinate system. So I uh, hope that helps. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching.